We've seen a steady stream of people dropping by their ballots at this drop box at the Beacon Hill Library. Those voters we spoke with say they want to avoid the long lines tomorrow, while elections officials want more voters to turn out by tomorrow to get the voter turnout up. Whether you choose to drive through or walk up or put your ballot through the mail, you have one day left to make sure your voice is heard in the primary election. I think everybody should. And so I wanted to get it done early. I don't want to wait around, you know, because it, it'll be a lot of people tomorrow trying to get their ballots in. Ballots are due by Tuesday, August 2nd at 8 p.m. The primary election sets the stage for the general election in November. Those are ballots that have been run through our tabulation scanner already. But on the eve of the primary, voter turnout is lower than expected. The last primary in 2020 turnout was around 26% at the same point in the election. We're sitting at about 21% or so right now. That doesn't include everything that voters have been dropping off at drop boxes this afternoon. Haley Watkins at King County Elections Headquarters says voter turnout may be closer to 40% when all ballots are in. We are trending just a few points behind what we typically see in a primary. I asked what may be tipping the turnout downwards. Watkins points to voter behavior. People tend to wait until the last day. What we also see in primaries is lots of folks turning out to vote late. Uh, we see more folks lined up at those drop boxes at 6 30, 7 o'clock tomorrow, right before that 8 o'clock deadline um, in these August primaries than we do in, say, a presidential election or a typical general election. Back at one of the 76 drop boxes in King County. Too many people have gone through too much not to vote. Ed Jefferson takes every opportunity to vote. Everyone should vote. It's your responsibility. And there's just, there's no excuse for not voting, period. What is the most common issue voters face? I asked elections officials, they said people misplace their ballot. Now, if that happens to you, don't worry. You can go to one of the six in-person voting centers to get it sorted out. If you're also a registered voter, you can print your ballot at home, fill it out at home, and bring it into one of these drop boxes. In Seattle, Madison Wade, King 5 News.